Wow, welcome back. This is your online tutor, Pasco or Mr. Distinctions. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. All right, so in this video, I just want to talk about some key terms which you need to know whenever you are writing an essay question. Yeah, so I'm going to concentrate much on biology. Yeah, and when talking about biology, there are just some key terms. And in this case, I'm just going to mention the common ones which are just uh, about three, yeah, which you need to know whenever you are writing an N S question. Yeah, so what is the first key term? The first key term which you need to be familiar with is actually uh, this term, state. Okay, so there are some questions whereby you've been taught to state something. Yeah, what it means when they actually tell you to state, you there's no need of you start explaining. Hope you're getting that. All you need to do is just to write the answers in point form. Yeah, like maybe let's say, for example, you've been taught to state the causes of substance abuse when you talk of civic education. Yeah, when you've, you, you've been taught to actually uh, state the causes of substance abuse, here all you need to do is just to actually give the points. Like we've got reasons like peer pressure. Yeah, you just give peer pressure you, you've got reasons like uh i mean causes like uh lack of education ignorance yeah just points just give the points only do not ex there's nothing here to explain yeah whenever you just hear the word state just give the points without explanation i hope you understand that yeah that is the first key term which you need to be familiar with then the second key term yeah is explain yeah whenever you've been taught to explain to give an explanation of, of something here all you need to do is to give the same points now you need to explain you need to go in detail like in a case of the question which actually which must come in biology yeah to explain the the causes of uh coronary heart disease yeah we've got reasons like uh lack of exercise lack of exercise Okay, lack of uh, exercise. So now, here, oh, what you need to do is that, or what you need to know is that uh, when you talk of explaining, yeah, of course, you need to give this point as lack of exercise, and then you put a full stop, yeah, if you want. Now, you need to tell, actually, you need to give the reason, you need to tell them how actually, how lack of exercise actually leads to coronary heart disease or how lack of exercise actually um, causes uh, coronary heart disease. So now, that's when you can say, I'm explaining. Yeah, hope you understand that. So that is what it means to explain. Yeah, you give a point and then you now give the reason for that point. Okay, of course, lack of exercise actually is one of the causes of coronary heart disease. But the reason is this one. Uh, okay, yeah, like uh, excess intake of uh, fat foods, which of course actually causes uh, uh, the accumulation of cholesterol. In the uh, in the arteries, hope you understand that. So you've get, you've given the point, and then you've given even the reason by excess intake of uh, fat foods. Actually, this will cause uh, uh, cholesterol to actually accumulate in what in arteries, and that will actually cause coronary heart disease, or that will result in coronary heart disease. Hope you understand that. So that is what it means whenever you've been taught to explain something. And then the last one, the last one, this one I want to actually uh, shed more light. I want to shed more light on this one because this question, whenever you've been taught to describe, you'd find that mostly questions like this one actually get 12 marks. So if you've been taught to describe something, make sure if you are able to remember the structure, like you've been taught to describe how the structures of the leaves are adapted to actually carry out uh, the process of photosynthesis. Here, if you can be able to remember the structure of the leaf, it's better you actually, you draw, it's better you draw and then you even actually label it to say this is the lamina, this is the margin, and then these are the veins. Yeah, and then down there now you start explaining, you start giving the parts and 
the function and how those parts actually uh, 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 actually make it possible for the leaf to carry out photosynthesis. So this is how we're supposed to do it. So the reason of actually drawing here, yeah, I'm not saying that if you haven't drawn, then it means you're not going to get uh, uh, the 12, 12 marks, but the advantages are high for someone who has actually drawn uh, the structure of uh, uh, the structure of the part which has been asked. Yeah, this, the chances are very high to get full marks like and like someone was actually hasn't drawn. Yeah, so here let's say for example we've been taught to describe the parts and function of this uh, of the structure of the human brain. Yeah, if you can be able to remember the structure. If you can be able to remember the structure, please make sure you put a drawing, you draw. And then now, down there, I'm not saying that if you draw, then you just actually end from there. No, you need now to start explaining. The reason why I'm emphasizing on drawing is to actually increase, or yeah, to increase the chances of getting the full marks. In case, in the process, as you are giving the points, you actually forget some points. Yeah, hope you've seen that, and it is not possible that you can get the um uh, total of marks. But if you've actually drawn, yeah, the drawing will actually replace those points which you've forgotten. Up now, you understand the reason why I'm talking about drawing. So, these are the three key terms which you need to pay particular attention to. If you've been taught to state do not explain if you've been taught to explain do not state and what you need to know is that when you are explaining and describing you need to write in paragraph form not in point form as if you are stating yeah so these uh actually are the three terms which you need to be familiar with and which actually and this is how you need to be actually going about these questions if you've been taught to state state in point forms if you've been taught to explain and describe give in paragraph form and don't forget if you can be able to remember the structure of what you've been taught to describe make sure you actually include it so that we can increase the chances of getting the total max thank you very much i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to put a like and a comment if you found this video to be very 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 helpful otherwise all the best in your studies.